Hey, how's it going? I'm Dylan from Stupid Raisins, and in today's video, I'll show you how to animate a logo in Final Cut Pro 10. If you want to animate your logo or a client's logo, or maybe you just want to stand out, I can help you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fade your logo on and off screen. I'm going to show you how to slide your logo on screen. I'm going to show you how to grow your logo and then shrink it. I'll show you how to do this cool distortion genie effect for your logo. And at the end, I'll show you how to animate your logo quickly with the built-in effects and transitions in Final Cut. One of the most simple ways to animate your logo is to fade it on and off. I've got a logo in my timeline over some footage of some pigs and it's blurred. Select your logo, go to the beginning, and then go to your video inspector. Set a keyframe for opacity, and pull it down to zero. Move in about a second, and set another keyframe by pulling your slider up to 100. Go to the end, and move in one keyframe so that we see the logo and set another keyframe and put it down to zero. And then go about a second before the end of the clip and pull the opacity up to 100. Check it out. Nice and easy. Next, let's slide the logo onto screen from the bottom up. Reset the opacity and now we'll set some keyframes for position. So go to the beginning of the clip and press the keyframe button. Move forward about a second and add another keyframe. Go about a second before the end of the clip, add another keyframe, and then go to the last frame of the clip and another keyframe. Now, while we're here, under Y parameter, pull this up. I'm clicking and dragging until the logo is gone. Go to the beginning and do the same, but go down. I'm gonna pull my logo down until I don't see it anymore. So now my logo will come up on screen, stay on screen, and then slide out through the top. Let's check it out. Not bad, right? Have you ever seen a pig on a slip and slide? It's a beautiful sight. Now let's make the logo grow on screen. Reset the keyframe animations for position. Go to the beginning, set a keyframe for scale all. Don't do it for scale X or Y. That will only do it in one direction. Go about a second before the end of the clip, add another keyframe and then the last frame of the clip, one more keyframe. While you're at the end of the clip, set scale all to zero, and go to the beginning, and set that to zero as well. Let's watch it grow up. Looks pretty good. Now let's make the logo look like it's coming out of a genie's bottle. Reset the position keyframes. Go to the beginning of the clip and under the distort section, set a keyframe for bottom right. Move forward about a second, add another keyframe. Now go back to that first keyframe by pressing this previous keyframe button, this little arrow right here. And under X, pull that value down you see it kind of distorts and slides down there. Pull it down just until it slides off screen. Now go to one second before the end of the clip. And for bottom left, set a keyframe. Go to the end of the clip. Always make sure you can see your logo first. Click and drag up on bottom left until you see it disappear. Let's check it out. Delicious. One thing to keep in mind with keyframes is you can always change the timing really easily. Select whatever you've animated with keyframes and press Control V. 
you'll see we have these little blue keyframe dots here. If we want it to be faster, we can bring those keyframes closer together. Let's see what that looks like. It's much quicker, right? Or we can slow it way down. When you're done animating the keyframes, just press Control V again to hide the keyframe editor. You can also use the built-in Final Cut effects to animate your logo. You still have to keyframe, but you have a whole lot more options available for you. Go to the Distortion section and find this Scrape filter. Drag and drop it onto your clip, and you'll see it's already doing something. It's scraping this uh, Instaham logo into oblivion. Go to the Video Inspector and you'll see the controls for the effect. If we play around with amount, we can see what it does. We can also use these on-screen controls to change the look of it. We can change the center as well. If we pull it way over here, the logo disappears, which gives me an idea for a logo animation. What if the logo came on like this? Like it's coming out of warp speed, right? So, let's do that. Let's animate it. Let's start at the beginning of the clip and pull this on-screen control until it's, until it's just disappeared. Set a keyframe for center. Move your playhead in about one second. And now drag the on-screen control all the way over to the other side until we don't see the distortion anymore. Now go about a second before the end of your clip and add another keyframe by pushing the keyframe button and go to the last frame of the icon. Now pull the on-screen control to the bottom and to the right until it's all gone again. Let's see how that looks. Kind of a cool, glitchy, modern animation that you can do with effects. Of course, there are a ton of effects in Final Cut that you can play around with. Pause game. I just noticed you haven't subscribed yet. Go ahead and click that beautiful red subscribe button. Thanks. You can also use the built-in transitions to animate. The good thing about transitions, you don't have to keyframe. The bad thing, they're hit and miss. Some work, some don't. Let's check out a few. Open up the transitions browser and go to the blurs section. Drag and drop directional blur onto your logo. And you'll see it adds these transitions at the beginning and the end. That's pretty good looking, right? Hold on. I'm going to turn the blur off of my pig clip underneath. Now watch it. Did you notice that? The transition blurs the clip below it the pigs, and the logo. So you've got to be careful. Sometimes the transition will affect any clip below it. However, you might like that look. Some transitions work great for out animations, but not so good for in. Let's take a look at black hole under the movements category. Drag and drop it onto your template, and you'll see it adds the two transitions. Let's take a look at both of them you'll see the effect is applied to the pig layer underneath it. So it's not a very good in animation. So let's delete that, but take a look at the out animation. That looks pretty good, right? It sucks it away into oblivion and it doesn't mess with the clip underneath it. So you can mix and match some transitions for in and out animations, or you can use keyframes for in animations. Go to the Dissolve section, drag and drop Cross Dissolve onto your clip. This is one that works well without affecting any clip underneath it. This is a quick fade in and fade out without any keyframes. Go to the Replicators Clone section and drag and drop Vertigo onto your clip. Here's what it looks like. 
We have a really good looking animation and all we did was drag and drop a transition on. Another category that works really well for animating logos with transitions are the wipes. Go to the bottom, select wipes, and any of these will work really well. Drag and drop diagonal onto your logo and look what we have. Now this one's kind of fast. I want to slow it down. It's easy to do. Select the transition and click on the right hand side and drag it out. You'll see it gets longer. Let's do the same for the out animation. Let's see how that looks. Much better. If you select the transition, you'll see some options. We can change it to slant to the left. Let's leave the in transition as is and change the out transition to left slant. Looks pretty good, right? Congrats, you're now an animating logo black belt. And I have a trophy for you. It's a free pack of Final Cut Pro plugins. These will make you feel professional and are a piece of cake to use. It's worth $138, but you get it for free. Just click the link below to get your free gift.